Have you ever wondered why some people in life can achieve tremendous success when others just seem to aimlessly drift through life being dictated by external influence? Well, a huge factor in this is our habits. As Warren Buffett says, the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. Now, far too many people run the hamster wheel of life, coming to the end full of regret, wondering how different their life would be. And because of this, you'll want to pay very close attention because I'm going to reveal to you the five bad habits that you'll need to give up if you want success and happiness beyond the force, especially the last bad habit. So the first habit you'll need to give up is excuses. Most people have excuses and typically the same ones over and over again. You know, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I'm too old or I'm scared of failing. Those excuses have stole more dreams from people than anything. In fact, an excuse may be creeping into your mind right now watching this video as you think of becoming successful and living life on your terms. An excuse is generally a justification for not taking or taking action on something. Excuses are lies you tell yourself to make you feel better and all this does is keep you in the same position running the hamster wheel of life. Once you lose your excuses, only then will you find your results. Let's face it, we all have obstacles, but successful people find a way, not another excuse. As George Washington Carver says, 99% of failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses. So if you want to live life on your terms with success and abundance, drop your excuses. The second bad habit you need to give up is procrastination. The most valuable commodity we have in life is time. And yet it is the one resource that unsuccessful people use the worst. The moment you were born, your life clock started to tick and you began to die. But somehow people tend to forget that one day our time will end and we are not coming back. Your life is not a rehearsal. How many things do you procrastinate on? Knowing that if you did take that first step, it would move you closer to the vision you have of yourself. Knowing that it would take you closer to your goals, your aspirations and passions. It could be the idea you always wanted to pursue, the person you wanted to ask out for a drink, or the places you want to see in the world. I want you to draw 80 little squares on a piece of paper. Why 80? Well, these would represent the years of your life, as the average human being lives until they're 80. Now, colour in the squares that represent your current age and compare the difference in squares. You now have a visual representation of how many years you have. Are you going to live another year, another square, doing the exact same things you've always been doing that isn't making you truly happy? Something that isn't lighting you up with passion and energy anymore. Something that is taking away time from the people you love the most. As Benjamin Franklin quotes, you may delay, but time will not. So live with urgency, live with intention and live life knowing that you only have one to live. Turn your rest days into success days and stop hitting the snooze button of your life. Stop talking yourself out of opportunities because you don't feel like you're ready. Because if you don't make the time to work on creating the life you want, you're eventually going to be forced to spend a lot of time dealing with the life you don't want. A year from now, you'll wish you had started today. The third bad habit is negative thinking. I get it, you work for the police, you're surrounded by negativity. However, it doesn't mean you have to lead a negative life. You see, negative thoughts which turn into negative behaviours kill your dreams. It's like poison to the mindset and if you want to become successful, you need to stand guard of your mind as to not engage in any negative self-talk. You see, doubt, frustration, depression and scepticism invade your mind and in turn, it'll invade your life. Turn off the news, don't read that paper, don't engage in negative talk. You need to saturate your mind with positive material, whether that is your peer groups, the books you read, or the activities you engage in. Stay away from people whose negative conversations can affect your attitude about yourself. Negative people always have a problem for a solution. And while you cannot control someone's negative behavior, you can control how long you'll participate in it. 
life becomes a whole lot easier when you delete negative people and things from it. And successful people know this. Think about it. When a flower doesn't bloom, you fix the environment in which it grows, not the flower. So control your environment because you have a choice every single day what you fill your mind with. It's either negativity or positivity. Take a look at the people you surround yourself with. Are they goal orientated? Are you pushing each other to do your best? Or are they bringing you down with their issues and insecurities? Who you surround yourself with has a huge impact on who you will become. Don't fall into the trap of staying around people who can't find happiness in anything. As Shiv Kera says, your positive action combined with the positive thinking results in success. The fourth bad habit is blaming. Blaming everyone else but you for how your life currently is isn't going to change your life, especially when the blame lies with you. Really think about this. No one is forcing you to work shifts. No one is forcing you to work every Christmas and New Year. And no one is forcing you to risk your life every time you're on response. And no one is forcing you to spend time away from the people you love the most. You are deciding to. You see, you are the captain of your life and you have 100% control of your life. Blaming everyone and anything is a lack of personal responsibility and a total waste of time. It isn't your boss's fault. It isn't HR's fault. It isn't your colleague's fault. It's your fault because you decide to keep yourself doing the same old things and expecting different results. Successful people take full responsibility of their life and if they don't like something, they change it. And the final bad habit is quitting on your dreams. One of the most intense fights a human will ever have is between the person they are and the person they are capable of becoming. If you want to turn your dreams into goals and your goals into plans and your plans into your life, you have to understand that quitting in the pursuit of them is not an option. You can always change the route to which you can achieve them, but never the destination. If you're going to quit anything, stop quitting on your dreams. Whenever you feel like giving up, remember why you started. Was it for your kids, your family, your health, or for a better future? You see, quitting lasts forever. It becomes a bad habit and you end up quitting in other areas of your life. Whereas greatness, that lasts forever. And the thing is, you already have greatness within you, but you may not be utilizing it properly right now. Remember, every difficult challenge you have in pursuit of your dream is helping you. And that's crazy to think, but it's making you stronger and it's building your character. It's testing you to see if you really want success and to see if you can handle success. It's no coincidence that when people win the lottery, the vast majority end up broke years down the line. Why? because they haven't been through the process of building character in the attainment of success. So face the challenges, push through the pain, break through the obstacles and don't back down to anything because you're worth it and you deserve to live the best possible life. Quitting is the easiest thing to do and that is why unsuccessful people do it over and over again. And remember, those who try just one more time are often the people who go on to live and do remarkable things. So these are the five bad habits you need to give up if you want success beyond the force. And remember, don't expect to see a change if you don't make one. The price of doing the same old things is far greater than the price of change. Now, if you're an ex or serving police officer and you're wanting more out of life, whether that is more time with the people you love the most, more income so you are truly valued, or more passion in building a successful business, then click on the link below to attend one of our upcoming success quick start days so you too can break out, make the change, and live your life. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.